you want to get ICTs into rural areas, into rural populations, you can do a lot worse than using a telecenter, which is what they're doing in Sudan, isn't it? I've got Ahmed Mahmoud Mohammed Isa here, your chair of the Gedaraf Digital City in Sudan. Now, you're using telecenters to reach rural areas. Can you tell us how it works? Yeah, actually, telecenter is a public place equipped with ICT equipment and uh, to help people gather information and uh, to facilitate their lives. And we have different types of telecenters, depend on the service that provide it. For example, we have the standard telecenters, which provide training, capacity building, and skill development for our community. And in addition to that, there is a knowledge telecenters. These are telecenters where we share experience, best practices with other international telecenter practitioners and uh, like e-agriculture project, like e-education, e-health and uh, e-government. And how do people use them in Sudan? What are they using them for? Actually, in Sudan, we are mainly concentrating on the knowledge telecenters now, because these are applications of uh, what we are thinking is better for our community because we look for, uh, for example, an e-agriculture project implemented in uh, India and we transfer it like the agro-mobile services. That can help even illiterate farmers to, co to be connected to the internet. And so how does it work? Is there a teacher in, in the capital city and you have children effectively in a, in a remote classroom uh, watching over yeah, a computer this screen? is actually a, a public-private partnership with uh, many partners. It is established in a partnership between Gadarif Digital City and uh, the Ministry of Education in Gadarif. And this project is serving uh, the kids in the rural areas, especially the nomads. And this project we have trained with our partners, many instructors or uh, managers to take care of these kids. Okay, we need to wrap up now, but what, are the, what, what do you see for the immediate future? Are you, um, are you optimistic about the immediate future for telecenters in Sudan? Yeah, the future of the telecenter beyond 2015 is to have the portable telecenters because portable telecenters are very effective. They can be a truck, they can be a, a local house, it's called, we call it Gutia or Rakuba. They are very cheap to implement. And with $10,000, you can establish a telecenter that provides a service to 1,000 people. And you can use this, does it work by satellite? You can use this even if there isn't an infrastructure? There is a problem in the infrastructure. For example, in that area, we have a problem of electricity. There is no power. We are using solar energy. And this solar energy is used also for uh, providing the people with charging their, their mobiles. This charging of the, the mobiles, it increased the number of mobiles, it increased the number of internet penetration in Sudan. Okay, we're gonna have to leave it there. Thank you very much. Okay.